best and highest good of all involved. What does this mean for the people? For humanity? What is it that this white buffalo calf indicates? What message do we need to know? Tell us about this white buffalo. about the white buffalo cat. Let's get all these cards in. Make sure that you can see them all. This deck is the Native American spirit deck, which was my very first deck. This is my oldest deck. When I do a read and I'm talking about humanity or I'm asking about humanity, this is always how it comes out for me. It's always indicated by these, this card, the lovers. The cards are telling me about the white buffalo calf from the perspective of the Lakota people. This representing the people, this representing the moon here is representing the time that they have waited, a very long time that they have spent in this darkness, in this oppression, waiting for this sign from white buffalo calf woman. And it indicates the sacred return as they named the calf. It indicates this new beginning for the people. They see this as an absolute proof of the legacy being true and um, gotta say they're quite happy to see it here I'm going to leave these cards with this deck just for the respect of the Lakota Nation and I'm going to move to just regular standard tarot for advice, for humanity overall. How does this coming of this buffalo calf what message does it have for all of humanity? What message does it have for the individuals that are watching this reading, who have found this reading? What is it that we need to know? What advice about this white buffalo calf indicating the return of the sacred? What else? What else is it that we should know? Very nice. We have the Knight of Pentacles twice showing up for both sections of the reading. What other advice? We have the Ace of Swords, which is truth. It is complete clarity. And the Knight of Pentacles coming into being, into fruition in the fiscality, slow, steady progress. What else to know about this? What advice for us? Anything else here? What advice for us? Overall about this white buffalo calf. Anything more to say? Taking action, moving forward. So 
we pulled this bottom row asking about advice for humanity on the subject of this white buffalo calf. And what I'm seeing is how it's telling a story of needing to come to the realization that the things that we have been taking from the earth is causing a transformation in her, a death in her, right? That the earth is in a dire state. Um, we've done things that have been rash and without thought. And we've put ourselves into a place where the land is desolate and the waters are dirty. And that this row is really kind of talking about needing to come to the realization that we need to be better stewards of the planet. That her return is really about an indication of the state of the planet and not so much about humanity. That is part of the story in itself. She said that she will return in a time when things were bad for the earth. And that this is signaling that we're in this moment. But what I'm also seeing when I put both of these rows together and I look at this big overall picture is it's talking about the duality of it. So a message for humanity and a message for or from earth, right? Talking about the state that she's in, but it's also reflecting the story of the white buffalo calf woman as well, because the very first thing that she did was kill someone, not anything else. She took someone's life. That was the very first instance. And in that story, the two scouts that she met, one of them came at her with a low vibration. He went to grab her and he got turned into a pile of bones for his effort. But it's talking also about reflecting how this new beginning for humanity in the transition that is taking place for the earth. That if we come into balance with those things, our stewardship of this planet of, of the sacred, of balancing our needs with the needs of the planet itself, that this is the outcome. This is the outcome of having done a good job, or this is the outcome of having not done a very good job, which is where we are at this point right now. So what I'm going to ask for now is just overall and general advice on how it is that we can bring the sacred into our lives. This is one of the things that the white buffalo calf woman brought was the Chinooka. She brought the peace pipe to the Lakota people, taught them how to pray, taught them how to walk in prayer, to be in prayer at all times, to be in sacred union with the earth and the spirit, and to live their lives that way every moment. So what is it that we can do the comparison of the fool and the death card being together and thinking about those vibrations of the two scouts. One had the higher vibration, knew better than to attempt to accost this beautiful woman that was alone by herself in the prairie, where the other one did not have the sense to do that. So this higher and lower vibration is kind of what I'm focusing on and the one card that we do have so far is the sun and temperance. What other advice do we have? All right, let's take a look at what we've got. We've got the fool again on the bottom of the deck. We have the eight of swords again. So for our advice, I think the advice is pretty clear. It is to choose the higher vibration, we've got the full twice, and this will bring in the positivity of 
a positive future and a positive outcome for all of humanity by bringing healing and balance, cleaning the waters and cleaning the air and the land to take care of the earth, to leave behind the ways that held us back from being in balance and to bring forth this regeneration, this victory for Earth Mother. Very straightforward strength. Mm -hmm. Raise the vibration. Best and highest good for all involved.